Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new and you are a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, please do smash the like button on the video if you enjoy this. Really, really important if you could take just one single little second and smash that like button. Um, personal reading, the link is in the description box below this video. Okay, so Virgo, let's get into this. From this time you're listening to this reading, going into like 30 days. We're gonna look at the next 30 days, okay? Okay. So, we have a three wands here, Virgo. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for someone or something, it looks like. Roles could be reversed. Could be someone that you're currently dealing with as well, waiting for some something or someone. But there's this kind of like, I don't know, this gives me like, you know, when you leave your house and the dog just sits at the window <laughs> waiting for your return. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. There's this waiting for my ships to come in, waiting for that return on investment, waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. Let's take a look and see what you could possibly be waiting for. Hmm. You're expecting something. You're expecting something. Expecting to receive something. Expecting to hear from someone. We have an expectation here, Virgo. Um... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You could be waiting for another earth sign. Or someone to get stable. Uh, you're waiting for a boss or something to do with money. But you, overall, may be waiting for a commitment or a long-term committed relationship. Like, when is that ever gonna happen? You could be in that place right now in your life. Like waiting, you're, you're in the waiting, that you're in the love waiting room right now, waiting for Dr. Love to come in, <laughs> call you back. <laughs> I'm not making fun. I just, I just saw a waiting room, you know? Your heart's broken, waiting for Dr. Love to call you back. Okay. Waiting for someone to make a decision. Hmm. Hmm. In regards to a relationship, a contract, a commitment, a certain expectation, a compromise. Tell Virgo more. Hmm. Okay. Somebody's not putting in the effort. Are you expecting someone to change, Virgo? Are you like, well, let me just give them a little more time. Maybe they'll get it together. Are you expecting someone to change? I'm waiting for them to give a little something? I think you might be. I know that's not all of you. Okay, so don't get mad at the messenger here. I'm waiting for someone to grow up. <laughs> Someone's being very rebellious. This is someone like who skips school. They skip their commitments. They don't take the lessons. You're hoping, you know, listen, if I'm calling you out on a personal level, sorry. But I got to just give the message as I see it here. Waiting for someone to have, like, finally wake up and have, like, this light bulb moment, like, ding, 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 ding. Waiting for someone to see your value. Like, what is wrong with this? Why doesn't somebody see your value? Take a risk and put you on a pedestal of some sort. Choose, choose you. For someone to be like, I choose you, picky chew. You're waiting to be chosen. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. You look at this card. It looks kind of like they're connected here. You know, you're standing over here on your land and you're trying to show your worth. You know, maybe you're working out. Maybe you're trying to be like, B 
be up and like show off your muscles or just show off your fitness like your I want to say your um, your physical self I'm hoping somebody just kind of I don't know if it's it doesn't have to be someone in particular it could just be like waiting for you're waiting for your turn for love to come in you know um, some of y'all I gotta say <laughs> you got a real dummy that you're dealing with <laughs> I just have to say like a real look at the fool the real idiot I guess I was like a total idiot they're so flaky and ah, about to fall off the cliff like they get all the warnings the little doggy there is like hey no 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 watch where you're going you're gonna crash and burn and they just don't care they're very careless a wanderer they're very you know that's an old song because i'm a wanderer i'm the kind of guy who never settles down i go from girl to girl in every single town na, 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 na. you remember that? that's from the 50s my father used to sing that song to me go figure um you're trying to you're trying to show off your worth to someone who is just a wanderer they don't commit they don't settle down this is like david lee roth vibes here i'm telling you right now david lee roth vibes wherever i hang my hat is my home and jamie's crying and it's not my fault because i never said i was going to commit so here you are you know see me see me <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way you know I'm, i mean maybe somebody here is a little bit of a pick so you better be careful with that but there is this let me hold up the beacon of light and maybe i could just draw them in no please don't do that please don't do that this is like this person is like a ship a lost ship in a raging sea and they 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 they're like a thrill seeker they don't care and you're trying to be the lighthouse you know the candle in the in the window so they always have a place to come home to which is great if they want to come home but this is this is given uh, what now they're giving me Tristan vibes from that 90s movie with um, Brad Pitt um, Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Anybody? Anybody? You know how it goes. It was Brad, it was Brad Pitt, and he had like two other brothers, and they went into the military, you know. And and Tristan was like a lover. Brad Pitt, he played Tristan was I forget the name of the movie. Like he just like this is the person. This is why I feel like some person you're dealing with, right? And they're very avoidant. They don't want to commit. They don't want to settle down. Or as soon as it gets close to that, they're like, nope, I gotta go. Um, this person was born for leaving and, th and they're proud of that lifestyle and you know what some people are just like that Virgo some people are just they're just like that but I kind of feel like you're waiting for that person to come rolling back into town this person is careless they put their cares to the wind they have no stress no anxiety it's either the chicken or the egg, right? Either they have no anxiety and no stress because they don't give an F, or that's how they deal with their anxiety and stress, by not giving an F. They just, whatever. Yeah, they think about you. They contemplated committing. Sure. They have very little offer, though. You know, you were there. I feel like you had a lot more. You had a lot more at stake to lose. Look at all the pentacles here. You built up a little nest egg. They're measly one little pentacle. You have a lot more than this person does. You're more stable. You're more safe. And so they thought about it. And they do think about it. And they will, they, they'll continuously think about it. You know, you're like the... You're like the lighthouse, Virgo. You're like a lighthouse for them. Candle in the window. Always a safe place to land, right? To some degree. And then maybe until you get pissed off at them or something. And then you're like, go back out on your, go back out in your boat and just stay out there. Yeah, and then they come back, right? <laughs> 
this person is just they're non-committal Virgo that's what I feel like that's what I feel this message is here look at this page of wands very immature energy page of wands in reverse this person gets bored they get bored they're always looking for new adventures they're reckless careless Love them and leave them. Eat them and smile. <laughs> All right, you get the King of Swords here. So, could be an air sign. Very flaky kind of energy. Virgos are not flaky. You know, I do... Some Virgos can be... I wouldn't say flaky, but maybe kind of in their own world, which they come off as flaky sometimes. But um, air, if you think about air, air is just, air is everywhere. Air is everywhere. And air is affected by the elements. Air doesn't do anything. Air is just there, and it doesn't do anything. You know, if, if the wind blows, then it pushes the air. If the rain rains, then it floods the air. You know, if a hurricane comes, then, you know, it, it whips up the air, or a tornado. You know what I mean? But Earth, Earth is not everywhere so to speak, or at least not everywhere that can be seen. And Earth is very powerful. When Earth moves, it's very, very powerful. Mudslides, earthquakes, that kind of thing. Air is just wispy, you know? You get it? So you must be dealing with an air sign. They could have uh, air in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So they're, they're, kind, they're smart, but they're... If I feel like there's a little bit of a there's a lack of emotional attachment. It's somewhere in their chart, maybe in their Venus. It could be their rising. It could be their sun. They just don't get that attached. Virgos are like it's just steady. You know, Virgos are very steady. Virgos need someone who's steady like they are. Yeah, at least that's what I think. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, I feel like you're going to come to see that this person is like a child. Or as Oris likes to say, the sunburnt baby. <sighs> Always out in the sun. No clothes on. No sunscreen. No protection. Just childish. Doesn't take care in the sense of like, they're just super, super playful. I feel like you, you must, you come to terms with this. Virgo, are you dating a child? Are you dating a child, Virgo? Or is this person, like the, this, whoever this person, so yeah, obviously it segued into a relationship, but they are a child and they didn't hide it. I think you wanted, but because they showed up in a grown, grown up person's body, you were like, okay, they're just playful and fun. No, they're immature. <laughs> There's a little bit of cognitive dissonance because this person's showing up in the adult body but acting very childish, immature. I think you're starting to see that. Virgo, some of you are like, you know, this person's a lot, hell of a lot. They're not, they're not a, a youth. They're a toddler. They're an infant. <laughs> and I'm the mommy. I'm the daddy. <laughs> very toxic. So that's, is that what you're waiting for? Are you trying to prove your worth or prove yourself to a, to a child? What? What? Do you do that with your own kids? Walk around when they were little? Try to get their approval? Their attention? Prove to them so they could accept you? No. If you had kids, you know you know what I'm talking about. No, the buck stops here, buddy. You do what I say. You're in my house. These are my rules. That's how that works. <laughs> and this needs to be applied to this person. This childish person. Not childlike. Childlike is cute. That's fun. That's like two adults who are like, hey, 
let's go to the beach and, you know, go play volleyball and play like children and have fun and grasp our youth. That's childlike. This is childish. This person is childish. They're careless. And maybe you're thinking they might have shown you because, like I said, they have this adult body. So, like, oh, okay, they go to work and then they do adult things, but they might not hold their job long. They can't commit to things. And even if they do, they might have a job that doesn't require a lot of commitment. They might live off their parents, live off exes, family members. I don't know how old they are. Someone who's internally never grown up. Seriously, they probably still play video games. Hey, I'm not knocking video games. Not knocking video. I love it. I love Mario. I just found out the other day, my son's like, Mom, you're not even saying it right. I said, what? It's Mario. No, it's Mario. <laughs> my whole ever-loving life, I've been saying Mario, and, but it's Jersey. But he's from Jersey, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where I got it from. I always said Mario Brothers. It's Mario. Excuse me. Anyway, video games are fun. Not knocking it, but um, I am knocking it. I feel like if you're a grown-ass adult, stop with the fucking video games. <laughs> seriously stop go help people who are poor go out there and like i don't know do do something once in a while you're gonna play a video and it's fine but i, I just i don't know i just see grown-ass adults playing video games like 24 7 and i'm like oh god no it's no yeah okay so you're you're out of college you can play some video games okay so, all right, fine. You're in your 30s and you got kids and you're going to play games with your little kids. Okay, fine. Um, but then you're by yourself and that's all you do. Like, loserville. Sorry, if you don't like it, too bad. That's how I feel. Women are just kind of like, <clears throat> if we're going to do that once in a while, that's fine. But if you're up in your room like, and you're not sleeping, you're not coming out and eating and you haven't changed your clothes because you've been playing video games nonstop, go the fuck home. <laughs> so you're going to get an apology from this person or some type of communication from them <sighs> yeah um, and it's going to be very childish type of um, communication from this person could be apology, could be a birthday wish um, I don't know. I, I must be talking to a Virgo here who's just done with this bullshit. I must be because that's what I'm picking up. You know, but I just, I just feel like you're, you're going to get something from, you're going to hear from this person. And essentially, this person is always going to come back to you in one way or another. Okay, Virgo. Because there is something that you give, like I said, you give off some type of uh, I can't think of the word, like your home base, they're saying your home base in their mind, okay, in their mind, so they can go out and play and do all the things that they do and go live their life and then they can come home and there's they have the security of you in and out kind of energy they have your there's so like you're like a parent to this person honestly Virgo what are you waiting for a certain shade of green Virgo it is time to stop entertaining this constant potential that goes nowhere here Ace of Wands in the reverse. Delay, delay, delay. Put this person on the back burner. I see false starts. I feel like you got to reject this. If you want to find equality. You and this person are not equal. Maybe you're going to find that out. Maybe you're already seeing that. But I feel like you're going to find that out. It's not that they're not, okay, let me just make something clear here. Because I don't want you to feel like I'm devaluing your feelings for this person. Because I'm not. Listen, 
it's creepy for you to be a grown-ass adult dating a child, okay? You get arrested for that, right? So why is it any different for you to be dating a grown-ass adult who is a child, who acts like a child, who's childish? Do you know what I mean? What's going on with you? that you feel like you got to nurture this person like you're there like this person has been raised and if they weren't raised right they need to start parenting themselves you know what i'm saying especially and i'm gonna go there especially if this is a dude like come on that's beta shit do not be a beta male and if any of you guys in here are beta males get your shit together do not be a beta male Get some balls. Because, you know, the females, like you guys, I get it. You know, you want to love someone and you want to give a little more love. Maybe that'll make the person. That's always a, that's always the way it goes, right, with the females, you know, because that's how we're built, right? We want to nurture, we want to caretake. And Virgos are like the nurses of the Zodiac, right? I get it, but you got to draw a line here, I feel like. I feel like you got to, like... I don't know if you put this person in timeout. They don't get to come out of timeout until you say they can come out of timeout. They don't get to just walk away from the corner and come into the living room and say, okay, I'm done. Uh, no, you're not. You get back where you were. Mm -mm. You got to take some... Virgo, you, you got to get a, some a spine of steel. You got to get a spine of steel. Get your, get your spine back here with this. And you're waiting and waiting or expecting. Or maybe you're not like sit or, like maybe you're not literally waiting. Like Virgo, you could be No, I'm not waiting. I'm just getting on my day. But somehow you might be like, what if this person is gonna return? Or maybe they'll return and they'll like figure it out. Well, they're not gonna figure it out if you keep taking them back. I'll tell you that. Leave them the hell alone. Let them get out there into the world and go figure it the F out. Not on your watch. Who am I talking to? Leave me a comment if this is resonating. And the funny thing is, like, I don't see anything here along with this person being a liar or them being like this horrible, awful person. I feel like they might even be a really sweet person to some degree, or maybe at times. But I don't know. Listen, if you're into this parent-child relationship thing go for it do what you want <laughs> but sorry I think maybe you would prefer a power couple not a parent-child relationship all right anything else for Virgo yeah five of cups in the reverse don't grieve this loss this ain't a loss honey don't grieve this loss this is not Move on, recover, get your hope back in your life. There's somebody out there who's equal to you, equally yoked. We're on the same level, the same page, mutual. Your mutuals could be in your, your mutuals and your social. You got to find someone like-minded, right? Look at this. Does this look like a mother and uh, father and child scenario here? No, this is, looks like two rational adults who are coming together and, you know, on the same page, intertwining and independent. Okay, one more. There you go. That's what you need, Virgo. That's what you got to, that's what you got to come for. The two people who are vulnerable make the decision to be together, not out of need. There's no need in this card. Look, their hands aren't touching. There's no there's no need. This is a beautiful exchanging of ideas and thoughts and emotions, reciprocity here, sharing. These are two inter inter interdependent people. This is not two people who are um, one is like constantly gone and one is staying home and taking care of everything, you know what I mean? And somebody's in and out of your life. Now, these two people are, they're free, but they're within each other's vicinity. That's how they're living their life. They're free and independent of one another, but they're, they're together. They're just not hanging on to each other here. And they're not so far apart that there's nothing that anything can get in between them. 
you know? There's plenty of space between them, but there's plenty, everything, all the space on the outside, there's more of it. They're much closer than you think. That's how it should be. Don't take on projects. Don't take on children. I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone. Okay, I know. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. You need to let this thing cycle out. This person is always going to return, whoever they are to you. Let me just tell you, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be a Leo, uh, Vero Taurus, Capricorn. Um, yep, that's all the signs I'm seeing there. And if I don't call out your person sign specifically, it doesn't mean it's not them, okay? So, yeah, they're always going to reach back out to you. You know, because you're that, you're like the military base for them, you know? It's where the F-16s take off. This is where everything is stocked. This is where all the work gets done. And they're like out on the F-16 fighter jet and they're out and they're gone or they're deployed and then they come back whenever later. And you're like, you're like a sergeant and this person's a soldier. You know, like they're just like, first rank Virgo and they view you as like I don't know the highest military rank you could be I don't know why am I saying military maybe there's a military connection must be all right you got commitment that's coming in your future I accept except nothing less that this person does not come to you where they're ready to grow up I hate to say that because it's kind of harsh to say I don't mean it like that but they're ready to level up let's say level up and make that commitment to you don't waste your time keep it moving plenty of fish in the sea plenty plenty of guppies in the sea plenty of old fish <laughs> sorry i'm eating a twizzler all right let me stop eating that i'm just kind of flying by night tonight you guys so I'm, i had to i had to go get another um throat culture today because i think my I think my strep's coming back, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, my nail just broke shit. We shall see. All right, let's get some Chinese signs here. Let's see you. Virgo's Chinese sign. All right, you're the pig. You're the snake. You're the monkey. You're the ox. Rat. Rabbit. Leave a comment if these are your signs rooster okay if it's not don't worry about it. doesn't mean it's not your reading all right all right we've got capricorn taurus leo and taurus again okay significant could be dealing with those signs all right See if I can let's focus on some names today. Uh, Felix. I just heard Felix. Uh, Phil or Philip. Guy. <clears throat> now, if I don't call your name, don't worry. Doesn't mean it's not for you. Uh, Keith. Kai. K A I. Yolanda. Mm -mm -mm. Axel. Take me down to Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Peg. Peggy. Elizabeth. Okay. Somebody's. All right. September 15th. Uh, September 3rd, the 22nd, September 7th, August 28th, someone's 41, age 46, age 51, seven, 1979, 1977, 1969, 1963, 1957, age 35. Um, 
So one's 31, 1983. So if any of those, they could either be your age or the year you were born. Um, okay, they're just saying July to September, significant transformation. Oh, by the way, isn't this a super moon? I'll have to do a super moon reading for tomorrow. I think it's the harvest moon. I forgot all about it, you guys. Sorry. I remembered it earlier today, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do a reading on that. And then, oh, I guess this needs to come out. And someone's initial, somebody's name starts with a Q. I heard Amy, too. I'm getting the name Amy. Gail. I'm getting the name Faye. September 3rd, did I see that? Initial K, Kylie or Kyle. Um, someone's in Kentucky. Someone is in Arkansas. That's a first, I don't think I ever said that. Someone's in Illinois. Uh, we've got someone in Florida. Uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. So yeah, July through December, transformative. All right, let's get your charms. So you got a frog, right? Yeah, I guess it's a frog. Or it's a frog humping a frog. I don't freaking... I'm guessing it's a frog, but like, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, it's a frog. I guess it's a frog. The leapfrog. <laughs> Something to do with a frog. Okay. Hold on, you guys. I gotta open these up here. So we got um, a wrench or a tool. Somebody's tool. <laughs> All right, and we got puppy dog print. Okay, puppy print. Oh, and also an eagle. Hey, go eagles. I mean, they didn't do so great. I mean, whatever. It's always the way it goes here. Okay, so yeah, there's some attachment to frogs, maybe bullfrogs. Somebody has an attachment to frogs. You know, I said this thing, what was it? It was um, the boiling frog. Did you, ever re did you ever hear about the boiling frog? I said it in one of my videos. I talked about it where if you put a, if you put a frog into a hot pot of water, he's going to leap right out of it. But you put it into a lukewarm body temperature and you slowly turn the water up, the frog will adapt to the heat until it adapts so much it, it cooks. Um, so the story is about adaptation and adaptation to me is a form of grooming because when people groom they groom and I'm going into my crime side here the crime stories but when people when someone grooms a per another person they do it very subtly and slowly they're very patient over time in order to get what they want right if they just pop it on somebody who like people groom because what they're trying to get is not necessarily good that's why they groom and you know what I'm talking about right we'll get into that if I do the crime stuff but <clears throat> I don't know something's coming up here about that so Virgo are you groomed have you been groomed by someone who's very childish hmm okay that's in depth and that's tough to read I don't want to get into that too much. That's very personal. Um, and if you are, my, I'm sending you virtual hugs. Okay, we do have a feather wing here. So there is a message there in regards to an angel watching out. So if you see a wing somewhere, feather, anywhere, single, singular feather, anywhere. I don't care if it's stuck to the side of your car door, wherever it is. It doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful. It could just be from... The down of a duck, I don't care, that came loose. Any kind of feather, pay attention to that. Um, there's also something here to do with puppy prints. 
somebody might have like puppy print put into like a mold of some sort in, in remembrance. And um, I feel like when I'm looking at that run, that wrench, I feel like that's a message here for you, Virgo, that like you have all the tools you need, at least one of them, to take care of what you need to take care of here. Don't doubt yourself. You need to, um, I hear arm yourself with the tools that you need to prosper. All right, I'm going to end that there because I'm going to finish my Twizzlers and I don't want to eat in your face. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave tomorrow tentative because I don't know how I'm going to feel. I was feeling pretty rotten today again. I'm doing everything I can do. You guys, I'm back on all my, my um, antibiotics again. I think it wasn't strong enough the last time. So I'm catching it ahead of time. So hopefully I'm not going to miss any days. But tomorrow I will leave tentative because we're just getting started here. Um, if I'm not here tomorrow, I'll try, I'll try. Whatever I do, I'll get your weekend reading out for you. Okay. So thanks for being here. Don't forget to sign up. Become a member. And um, I'm going to leave that there for you. And I will see you all back here tomorrow, hopefully. If not Friday, if not Saturday. Or I'll just be back Sunday. We'll see. Thanks. Love you. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I want